Elon Musk is one big name in the world of technology right now, as he is known as the guy who single-handedly brought a revolution to the automotive industry. He electrified the industry and in the process, he successfully made his company enter the Trillion Dollar Club, joining some of the biggest names like Google and Amazon. But it seems like his hunger for revolutionizing didn't end there, as he sparked yet another one in the world of automobiles. This time it comes to the manufacturing process. Tesla's approach to using giant casting machines, nicknamed Gigapress, has attracted many competitors of Tesla, and some of them are going to apply them into their manufacturing process. Let's take a deep dive into that. What's this casting machine thing? If you're a hardcore automotive fan and know quite a bit about their manufacturing process, then you must be familiar with the word casting machine. Otherwise, like most, you don't have any idea. So when it comes to a car manufacturing process, it includes some huge procedures, which are followed quite strictly to ensure the best product. In traditional factories, many small pieces of stamped metal are welded or glued or crimped together to make the chassis of a car. But as Elon Musk is a man with a creative mind, he didn't want to go with a traditional process. Tesla thought it might be a better way, combining all those stamped pieces into one casting that was stronger, lighter, and less expensive to make. And this is where Tesla had to come into the concept of casting machines. Casting machines represent the collection of equipment that is used to shape and form molten metal into various shapes and forms by the use of a die. Casting is most often used for making complex shapes that would be otherwise difficult or uneconomical to make by other methods. A normal automobile manufacturing company comprises a lot of casting machines, but Tesla was thinking of finding a way to combine all those casting machines and build a big casting machine that will do the work of all those machines. Search for the builder. So, with the thought of a huge casting machine, Tesla went in search of companies that made casting machines, which brought it to the doorstep of Hydra, a company with headquarters near Brescia in northern Italy. Hydra is owned by LK Group, a company founded more than four decades ago by Lu Sun Song, who was born in Indonesia to Chinese parents. 42 years ago, Lu Sun Song built machines to help factories make cheap toys and watches. Then he made them for motorcycle companies. And seeing their portfolio, Elon Musk was quite sure about their capability to build the giant casting machines Tesla needed to make its idea work. So after hearing the idea of Elon Musk, Lou made him what he wanted, and he has been supplying Tesla with what they call Gigapress ever since. According to a tweet of Elon Musk, Hydra is helping Tesla to make full-size cars in the same way that toy cars are made. Tesla successfully Gigapressing over the last few years, Tesla has been heavily investing in casting and alloy technology to enable larger casted parts that have the capability to greatly simplify manufacturing. The company acquired several units of the biggest casting machines in the world. They have been deployed at Tesla's factories in the US, Berlin, and China. Tesla has already been producing the Model Y with a single rear body piece that replaced 70 different parts in the vehicle. Then recently, Tesla produced the first Model Y with both front and back single-piece casting. The strategy to greatly reduce the number of pieces to make a car body results in a massive reduction in the complexity of the body line and the capital needed to build the production line. It also brings weight advantage to the vehicle itself, which in turn can improve efficiency. When it came to the topic of the Gigapress, Elon Musk had this to say, We made the machine that made the machine that made the machine. We would like to outsource less, he added. Gathering attention. Up until quite recently, there weren't many people who believed that what Elon Musk was trying to do with the manufacturing process was going to see the face of success. Some people in the industry have been critical of the cost associated with potential repair in the event of an accident. This has led to questions whether Tesla is leading a new way for the auto industry to build cars in the future, or if it was a fool's errand. But after seeing how well Tesla is coping with their new Gigapress, people are starting to understand the potential of this casting machine. Or so it seems. China seems more than interested as more than five automotive companies have placed orders to Hydra to build them Gigapresses. According to Lu Song, founder of LK Technology, in addition to Tesla, 
LK will supply similar giant casting machines to six Chinese companies by early 2022, as more automakers adopt Tesla's way of making cars. Tesla has a goal of making 20 million cars per year, which was ambitious but not unattainable, because it had simplified the manufacturing process thanks to Lu. GM sold 6.8 million vehicles in 2020, while Tesla delivered half a million cars. By changing the way cars are made, Tesla could do for Chinese electric vehicle makers what Apple did for the country's smartphone industry. Many Chinese suppliers for the iPhone began working with local brands, helping them make better phones. Now Huawei, Xiaomi, and Vivo phones are popular in Europe, India, Southeast Asia, and Africa. Tesla is under threat? So does that mean Tesla will face a similar kind of consequence due to sharing the Gigapress technology? Well, not necessarily. Unlike smartphones, cars will be harder to build. Tesla builds a lot of manufacturing technology on its own, so Chinese brands could have a tough time copying Tesla by working with its suppliers. The engineer who is responsible for building the Gigapress also thinks like this. For all of China's progress, it still has a long way to go. LK hopes to deliver the same types of casting machines to many Chinese companies in the next two years. But some of those companies are struggling to find car designers of the type and talent that Tesla has aplenty. Without those designers, LK can't deliver the machines, said the 69-year-old engineer. Many Chinese automakers are talking to us about building the machines, but the majority of them are still in the design process, Mr. Liu said. We have a bottleneck in designers in China, added Liu. More broadly, Chinese electric car makers and their suppliers need foreign-made chips and other know-how. The Chinese auto industry is the world's largest, making about 25 million cars a year. But the popular ones are brands like Toyota and Chevrolet, and local brands haven't yet caught on abroad. Aside from designs, other automakers might also run into some issues with materials. Tesla has long invested in material science to develop its own alloys to support such large casting parts. The automaker even partnered with SpaceX to share material science talent to develop those alloys. So just getting the same manufacturer as Tesla won't be enough to match the level of experience and performance Tesla has right now, don't you think? That's all for now. I hope you've learned all about how Tesla competitors are trying to copy Tesla's Gigapress. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and turn on notifications so you're up to date on the channel's updates. See you in the next video!